What's up, everybody, and welcome to the latest edition of the Falcons In Focus podcast presented by Ticketmaster, recorded in the Ticketmaster studios. You can see by that fancy logo back there. And, and if you aren't singing and you're listening, then trust this is us, a podcast. Trust, hey, there, there, there's cameras and stuff. Not everyone watches, though. Well, okay, we're off to a roaring start here. <laughs> I'm Scott Bear. That's Tori McElhaney. This is Mike Hughes, brand new Falcons cornerback. Thanks for having me. Just just done signing on the dotted line, two year deal yeah. to join a secondary that's got like a lot of talent, man. It's a <laughs> fun sure. group. For yeah, sure. yeah, it's, it's a fun group. It, I think it's going to be an exciting room to be in, sure. right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, so I'm just ready to get to work, man, and see what we can really put together. Now, you played with Richie Grant in yeah. 2017 at UCF. Mm hmm. Take me back to that time. What was Richie Grant like in 2017? Because he was a, a youngin at he that was, point. He was a youngin. What was he like? What 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 kind of stuff did y'all get into? Give us all the dirt. <laughs> we gotta give Richie a hard time. <laughs> uh, I mean, like you said, he he was the young pup, so um, you know that's I had to treat him like that little bro, mm. you know, uh, give him a few pointers here and there. Um, Richie even helped me get a pick one time. I remember he uh. It was against Memphis. Um, the quarterback threw the ball his way. He tipped it, and it just fell right into my hands. So yeah, um, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, he he was always that little bro that you you could pick on, uh, but you know to bring out the best of him. Um, and I'm, I'm sure y'all seen that uh, the years he's been here. But uh, he, he's a good player, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to you know re reuniting with him again. Have we had any text messages, any correspondence <laughs> now that you're officially on the same team again? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to get to all of them yet, but yeah. they're flowing in right now. Yeah, I bet you Richie's pretty pumped. <laughs> I mean, and really, like, you go to UCF, and then they just, like, don't lose a game anymore, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, that season for that school, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, what an experience that must have been, you know? Because it's like they're, like they're playing with the big boys, right. undefeated. Right. I mean, like, what was that season, like, that experience like? Like, you show up. It, you know, some special things happen, and you guys are off and running. I mean, going undefeated, like, who who doesn't like winning? Yeah, you know, right. You, play, <laughs> you know what I mean? When you're playing a competitive sport like football. So um, that year was nothing but memories, man. It was just – it was so fun just, you know, being around those guys. And uh, it was just that much easier being on the field, playing with guys, because we were so tight, you know, off the field. So, um, you know, whenever we stepped on the field, it was just all fun, like we were playing in the backyard. So, um you know, that, it was a really good time. I miss it. So. What made that team so special, you think, thinking back to it? Thinking back to it? Because um, I feel like, I don't know. That doesn't happen very often. No. It doesn't. Catch it lightning doesn't. like that. Yeah. I know the the year, I can't really speak the years prior I got there. Because right, yeah. I was only there for yeah. a year. But I know, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't that great. Mm -hmm. um, I think they had a year where they went maybe like 0 and 13, which is crazy. Or maybe they won a couple games. Yeah. but. Um, I saw a lot of guys who were hungry. Um, we had a lot of talented guys in that locker room. And uh, once we figured out the formula to get everybody on the same page, I think that's what, uh, you know, what kind of got us rolling. And um, Scott Frost, I think he did a great job with that too as well. Um, shout out to Scott Frost. Yeah. Um, <laughs> got a yeah. plug on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think just, you know, just having that camaraderie off the field uh, really does play a big part of um, – uh, any team's connection, you know, whenever we're out there battling with each other. Now, you know, if, if we're talking about UCF that season, yeah. you know we got to ask about the play. The play? The uh, play. The <laughs> USF play? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is it, War on I-4? War on I-4. War on I-4. Yeah. Yeah. You guys go, what, down? Or were you tied at that point? We were tied. Yeah. We were tied at that point. It was the go-ahead, I'm yep. pretty sure, yep. yeah. And then the ball just comes floating down to Mike. It's a, it's I just, a I kickoff. Just knew, bro. I just knew. Because, listen, the the very first kickoff of that game, uh, he kicked it short. And we ran it the same play that I scored on later in that game. Mm -hmm. We ran it the first play. I was one tackle away from going to the house. So, that last kick return, I just knew. I just knew, like, once I got the ball in my hands, it was over with. So, it was over. What do you yeah. remember kind of, like, of that moment? Because look, watching the video was one thing, but I imagine mm -hmm. being there was something completely different. I mean, looking at the stands, and everybody was in black, I'm pretty sure. I mean, right. it was just, like, electric. Yeah, it, it was crazy. Um, I remember scoring and running, uh, like, towards our tunnel, and then 
the the kick return team, they were all following me, and they just kind of jumped on me, and I fell. So I was at the bottom of a pile, just like <laughs> just waiting, <laughs> trying, trying to catch yeah. your breath, yeah. <laughs> trying to catch my breath, just Thanks, waiting guys. to get up to celebrate with the guys on the sideline. Um, but that it it was it was a crazy moment, honestly. That that whole place just erupted, and it's a feeling that I'll never, you know, forget or. Uh, probably one of the best moments of my career, honestly. So. Yeah, I mean, I just think about and I've asked, you know, uh, CP, one of the best kick returners ever, oh, yeah. Avery Williams, you know, mm -hmm. some, some guys who have been through that. Mm -hmm. uh, like, when you, like, when do you know uh, I'm gone? Like, like is, is there a <laughs> moment, is there, you know, because it seems like everything's happening so fast, right? Right. That you're just trying to get through it and survive, but it, was there a moment you're like, all right. <laughs> he said around. before he's even no, caught No, I'll answer that. Uh, yeah. The moment that solidified it was uh. when I just saw me and the kicker. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. That's, so, that's the best. That's, that's the, the best. best. <laughs> as long as they're not blocking the back, you're like, I'm gone. <laughs> right. So once I saw me and him, I, I, I was like, yeah, I'm gone. Like, you can't get caught by the kicker. I can't get caught by the kicker. <laughs> that is not allowed. You, you, won't, you will never be able to live that down in the, in the meeting rooms or <laughs> just ever, I guess. But. I saw the kicker. I said, yeah, this is game time. Yeah. I mean, and really, if you think about your your tra trajectory, for lack of mm -hmm. a better term, right? Mm -hmm. you, you start in North Carolina. You go back to a JUCO. You play one year at UCF. And then you do well enough. I mean, you don't lose. But then you're drafted in, the, in like, in the first round, yeah. Yeah, right? right? You know, from the lows to finding a way to earn it the first round draft pick mm -hmm. slot. I mean, if we're thinking kind of big picture, like what were those two and a half plus years? Like you go to Kansas, right? <laughs> Garden City. Nowhere. Garden City, Kansas. We have some questions about Garden City. Yeah, we do. <laughs> but, but, but you go from Garden City, Kansas to a, a first round draft selection. Right. I mean, wow. Like yeah. what a kind of comeback surge there. It was definitely a, a quick turnaround, man. Um, and I'm always just, you know, blessed to, you know, be in that situation. Um, but it it, it, ha it did happen really quick. Um, like I said, I came from JUCO. I got to UCF pretty late. I think I got there like eight days before the season. Yeah, like right before, right? Really late. So uh, I kind of had to, you know, flip that switch. As soon as I got on campus, I, I was just ready to work. Um, and then, you know, I, the year that I had, um, it was always talks of like, man, you might go first round of where you're playing. And I just never really kind of believed it until – after the season, and then you see all these draft boards with your name popping up. So it's like, wow, this is really possible. Wow. And then it happens, and then it's just like, guys were right. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I finally believed it. And then, uh, you know, there you go. I love it. I mean, what was, I mean, talking about like going from Garden City, and, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm from kind of the middle of nowhere. So I can feel like I can say that maybe that's the middle of nowhere too. Oh, it definitely is. It is? Okay, <laughs> yeah. I, I feel bad for all the Garden City people being like, "How dare she?" But I'm glad. Thank you for backing me up on that. What was that like? Because for the first time, you were kind of out of North Carolina, mm -hmm. and right. you're in a new place, probably by yourself, trying to get your feet back under you. Like, what? What were? What was that year like? It was really hard. Um, it, it's the fact that. You go from being at a Division One college and then go back down to JUCO, mm -hmm. so it's like you go from seeing it all to nothing, and that was that was really heavy on my mental. It kind of questioned if I really wanted to play the game, mm. and uh, no, I kind I got over that hump. Um, you know, found found the love of the game again, and you know, we actually had an undefeated season in Garden City too. I was about to that. say, See, yeah, like, yeah. Just yeah. Not <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> That's what made it fun again, man. Just being around, connecting with guys from all different parts of the world, right. having the kind of the same story. Um, and it just, it, it brought us close. We were all close. Um, and like I said, man, it was just, we made it fun. And it just, it's just that much easier going out there playing football when you can have fun and, you know, just trusting your guys mm -hmm. and that they're going to have your back. So Yeah. So, At the end of the day, football's a game. It's, yeah. it's fun. It's supposed right. to be fun. Right. <laughs> I keep telling I, people that. I mean, so, like, what is there to do for fun in Garden City again? Mm, you asking the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> you asking the wrong guy. I, or then, maybe it's perfect because you you you're focused on football, right? right? And grinding it's it out. It's easy to say, sure. <laughs> <laughs> For a college kid who, wants, know, to, right? who yeah. wants to get out and do stuff, but <laughs> I mean, it, it definitely made me put my foot down and uh, you know 
made, made it uh, into a business trip. Yeah, know? okay. So oh, I that's kinda, an interesting yeah, way to put it. I kind of looked at it that way. Right, and that and that you got business done. You, you got back <laughs> into D1. Yeah. Right. And then you, you were saying, okay, uh, that you thought, you're hearing, okay, maybe I'm going to be there in the first round, right? Mm-hmm. The first round's wrapping. You're in the third, you know, 29, 28, 30. Oh, yeah. Are you thinking – Maybe I'm a day two guy. Or are you clutching by the like, like when the phone lit up? Right? <laughs> At that moment, take us back to that. Okay, was it I'll a big party? Were you? They did have a big party. I didn't see some, some video. I had a, a really big party. So once he got down to those last few picks, I was definitely like, man, like all these people were <laughs> here. Am I gonna have to do this again? Invite everybody again next day? And then I saw that Minnesota area code come Beautiful. up on my phone. It was it was a feeling that you can't even describe. Um, I kind of knew, like, where, where it was going. So, um, you know, once I got that phone call, um, I had to, like, kind of quiet everybody down because right, everybody yeah. was just, like, doing their own thing, just <laughs> watching the draft or drinking or <laughs> doing whatever. So I kind of had to get everybody calm. And once they realized that I got the call, it kind of, like, riled back up oh, again. Yeah. So, um, no, it was a great feeling, man. I'll never forget that day. The It was interesting, too. You had a Vikings hat. Like that night, right? I had all 32 had teams. All 32. Yeah, yeah, that's how you have to do it. Yeah, you, right? you just don't know. Yeah, you gotta be ready. Yeah. That that's cool because I I saw the some pictures and some videos and it's like all your all your family friends mm-hmm. kind of just around you and I was like he's wearing a Viking hat. I'm like <laughs> he knew. <laughs> but it's cool that it's not. Do you still have all of those hats or what? I don't have no, all of them. No, you yeah. just <laughs> toss them. It's yeah. like yeah, it's fine. We need to get that Falcons hat back for you though. We do. Yeah. <laughs> we need to find it. Yeah, I mean, and then it's like uh, look. Injuries suck, but yeah. the end, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like you, you know, your first round talent. You know, you, you come in, you have a an an, an injury early. You mm-hmm. have, you have another one dealing with your neck. I, I can't even imagine that. Right. But I, I I guess the like the mental fortitude to like because you you've had to grind through some stuff mm-hmm. to grind through those periods because you're like okay, like I'm a first round talent. Just keep me healthy long enough to show <laughs> it, right? Right, right? You know what I mean? Is that sort of the mentality? And like, how did you work through those that that level of adversity it happens twice you, you battle through it you come out of it on the other so end. so that was a, a new type of adversity for me as well because i've never been away from the game as long as i was when i tore my acl yeah and i've never had to have surgery until i got into the nfl so when that happened it really kind of opened my eyes and uh, i found myself in a dark place honestly yeah. um i wasn't able to walk for six weeks uh due to the, the damage I, that i have done and during those six weeks, you don't realize how many things you take for granted. Uh, just like the simple things around the house. Um, this probably might not be in, uh, appropriate, but I had to, <laughs> I had to take stool softener. Oh, yeah, because like, no. yeah, no. I couldn't I couldn't use the bathroom for like a couple weeks because oh my, my, my knee wouldn't. It's you terrible. know what I mean? So just uh, taking showers, I had to use a like a handicap chair yeah. and All just the little things, things you yeah. don't think. You know what I mean? That and you, essentially like having to kind of like learn to walk again exactly because it is a process right right. and especially going from like supreme athlete right right Mm -hmm. you know what i mean exactly uh yeah they just that you just really have to you know i always think about like the physical stuff but like the mental side of it mental is really big bro it's uh like i said that was a new challenge for me that i had to get over and um you know with the help of my mom my teammates and that training staff mm-hmm. in minnesota they they helped me get over that hump and uh, i'm very appreciative of everybody who was uh, who had a helping hand in that part so. yeah when you kind of like think about you talk about your mom mm-hmm. i i was creeping on the instagram and she <laughs> she is an instagram queen oh yeah what, <laughs> is, what has your mom been for you not just you know in the last few years as mm-hmm. you're going through everything but your whole life She's my world. Um, she's been with me every step of the way of anything I wanted to get my hands on or accomplish. She's right there with me, supporting me. Um, I couldn't ask for a better mom, mm-hmm. honestly. Um, you know, she 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 did a great job raising me. Um, you know, taught me the the ins and outs of a lot of things, and um, I'm very appreciative of her. So. Um, no, once I the, when I got drafted, the very first thing I bought her was a house, her dream house. I saw that. Yeah. So you know that that's I feel like that speaks a lot about you know what she means to me. So that's and, pretty special. Yeah, and just to be able to have that opportunity yeah. exactly. to give back to somebody who's who's given you so much. Right. Uh, one more question before we get to the rapid fire. Yes. Uh, 
you know, it's like, so you, you go through these ups and downs like that we're talking about, right? Mm-hmm. And then now you have an opportunity with an up and coming secondary with a, with a guy that you know, with a coach that you know, Jerry Gray, you worked with in Minnesota. Right. Th- this seems like a really, you, you had options, right? Mm-hmm. This seems like a really good opportunity, kind of fresh start. You feel like this is an opportunity. All right, the first round talent is in there. Like, <laughs> yeah. let's go do it. And let's right. do it with, with a fun, young group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Um, like I said earlier, I'm I'm excited to get the you know get to work with these guys. Yeah. Um, being one of the now going into year six, I'm considered one of the you know one of the vets in the room. You're a vet so, now, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You are so a vet. <laughs> that's another challenge. Old guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's another challenge. I'm I'm willing to take on and uh you know whether that's helping out the younger guys or being more of a vocal leader or um you know I'm re- not really an outspoken guy. I like to lead by example. So, um, you know, like I said, if I have to take on that challenge of being more of a vocal guy and, um, you know, just in that aspect, uh, I'm, I'm willing to take on that challenge. But nonetheless, man, I'm ready to get to work with these guys and see what we can really do. And, uh, I, I think it. we'll shock yeah. everybody. I think I, I'm excited to see, too. I mean, this is a, a really cool group that, that's gotten put together here recently. Sure. Now, everyone's favorite part of the podcast, Rapid Fire. Right. Rapid Fire. Um, you ready? There are no wrong answers. I think so. I don't think. We we don't think there's wrong answers. <laughs> we don't think there's wrong answers. Like everybody basically gets the same five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And of course we you know judge them. So like, do I have to answer them really quick? Yeah. Or? You, you can. We can do a little of that. Yeah. I, I keep doing this like people are <laughs> like, like know what I'm talking about. Just yeah, we're bouncing. Okay. Well, okay. I'm gonna maybe, go with the flow. Then. Yeah, you got it. Maybe yeah. we've already discussed this one already. Right. The, uh, I, the first question to everybody is their favorite play of their career. Is oh, that? yeah, we definitely discussed okay. that. Yeah, okay, that was easy. We <laughs> well, are that was yeah, okay, um, favorite movie or TV show? Um, John Wick sequel. Oh, Ooh, good one. That's an interesting one. I love them. I, mean, I love Hitman movies. Yeah. Like, and even uh, Equalizer with Ooh, Denzel. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, but I mean, especially like protecting his dog. Okay. You know what Come I'm on, saying? Come on, man. You have a dog? <laughs> I do. A uh, Rottweiler? Uh, Doberman. Doberman. Oh, yeah, yeah, you close, though. I was close. <laughs> I, I thought, what, what's his name? His name is Zeus. Zeus. Perfect. Yeah. That's All a good right. one. I like it. <laughs> All right. Um, Your favorite player growing up? It doesn't, the sport doesn't matter. Favorite player growing up? Uh, I really like Devin Hester. Ooh. Devin Hester, okay. yeah. former Atlanta Falcon, get him into the Hall of Fame, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. It's please. about time. Yeah. Put some it. respect on the uh, return real. man, okay? Yeah, for real. <laughs> um, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Oh, flying. Flying. That's, yeah. that's a solid answer. Flying or teleport? Teleport is mine. Yeah. Is yours? Tele- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Really I was excited. right on that one. I'm really excited about teleport. Oh, my yeah, I like when people say that one. Um, okay, last one. What is a skill that you wish you had but don't. I wish I could sing. Oh. Yeah, that's a good one. I, I also really wish I was kind of, like, creative. Like, <laughs> I could, like, draw yeah, or something. No. Like, my creative brain doesn't work. So, like, singing Yeah, gr- drawing is pretty – that's, that's like, a, a, sk- a real skill. I right, feel like. yeah. So is singing. Yeah, you want to I mean, cu- a couple bars for us? So you're not a big karaoke guy, huh? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. <laughs> Richie will Richie, do it. Though. I know he will. will. Oh my God. We'll, have we'll you seen it. Richie in the karaoke? <laughs> I, haven't, karaoke? I haven't, but I, I wouldn't doubt it. It's that legendary, he. apparently, according to Richie. Uh, yeah, I don't know about anybody Grant, else. He's great at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This was fun. This was fun. Yeah. Mike Hughes, thank you so much for stopping by the Falcons in Focus podcast presented by Ticketmaster great conversation i cannot wait to see the secondary assemble i mean seriously so many new parts so much Mm -hmm. talent it's going to be fun to watch thank you so much we can't wait to see you out on the practice field and real field moving forward thank you and we will talk to you again next time see ya